today we will study two dimensional analysis finite element analysis lecture number 9 from the previous lectures we have seen how to do the analysis on a one dimensional element for a one dimensional element only one local coordinate along the x direction was required to describe a position along the element that we have seen in many examples in the previous lectures but for a two dimensional element there will be x and y coordinates because it is in a two dimensional plane that is x and y x and y coordinates will be there then these elements that is the two dimensional elements which are the basic elements used for making the two dimensional figure these elements are connected at common nodes or common edges to form continuous structures some examples we see 2d structures some examples here first one is a rectangular plate that is divided into or discretized into small small shapes with a same sized triangular elements each triangular element is that of same size x direction is there y direction is there in a more complicated figure in the second case a hydraulic cylinder rod end is shown here that is discretized into small small parts with triangular elements of different shapes we can see in some places triangular elements are bigger in size compared to some other places where triangular elements are fine in nature in some other places they are of different size and some of the nodes are fixed if the nodes are fixed then only we can apply static loads so we can see the fixed nodes then loads are applied at some other nodes as shown here at the left end of the cylindrical rod end the displacement vector is represented with the notation u as in the previous cases here u is given by a column matrix uv that is in vector form where u represents displacement in the x direction v represents displacement in the y direction then the stresses and strains are given as sigma sigma is representing stress and e representing strain sigma is equal to a column matrix sigma x sigma y to x y sigma x is the normal stress in the x direction sigma y normal stress in the y direction to x y is the shear stress in the xy plane remember in the one dimensional analysis only sigma was there in the two dimensional analysis we have three stresses sigma x sigma y and to xy and correspondingly strain e equal to ex ey and gamma xy ex is normal strain in the x direction ey normal strain in the y direction and gamma xy is the shear strain in the xy plane and the body force f is given by fx fy now we will see the basic two dimensional elements used for discretizing a two dimensional body the basic element use, useful for two dimensional analysis is a triangular element the simplest two dimensional elements have corner nodes as shown in the figure so the basic two dimensional element is a triangular element as is he, uh, shown here it has got three nodes at its corner then a rectangle is there with the four nodes quadrilateral and parallelogram then quadrilateral 
is a special form of rectangle and parallelogram which has got four nodes and it can also be considered as a combination of two triangular elements as shown in figure or four triangular elements as shown here so these are the basic 2d elements which are used for constructing or discretization of a two-dimensional problem the 2d elements we have just discussed are important for mainly two cases one is plane stress analysis and the other one is plane strain analysis in plane stress analysis includes problems such as plates with holes fillets or other changes in geometry that are loaded in their plane resulting in stress concentration that we will discuss soon and plane strain analysis which includes problems such as a long hydraulic cylindrical rod subjected to load that remain constant over its length or depth the figure we have seen earlier and dams and pipes subjected to loads that remain constant over their legs these two cases that is plane stress analysis and plane strain analysis we are going to study in detail first we will study the concept of plane stress a plane stress is defined to be a state of stress in which the normal stress and the shear stresses directed perpendicular to the plane are assumed to be zero for example look at the two figures shown below a plate with a hole and plate with a fillet in b in both these cases the thickness of the plates are negligible compared to length and breadth length and breadth are in the x and y directions thickness in the z direction these both these cases a surface traction t is applied in the x direction surface traction means force per unit area we can see in both the figures t is applied in the x direction then we can say both these plates are under a state of plane stress because in both these cases the normal stress sigma z and shear stresses tau x z and tau y z are assumed to be zero normal stress sigma z means stress in the direction of the z axis z axis that is the thickness direction of this plate that is negligible so normal stress sigma z can be considered as zero then shear stresses happening in the x z plane and y z plane which are the planes the, uh, those are the planes perpendicular to the given plane plate of uh, plane of the plates that is x y plane x y plane is the plane of the application of the force then two planes perpendicular to them perpendicular to this x y plane are x z and y z then shear stresses in those two planes that are given as tau x z and tau y z will be zero zero means it will be negligible compared to other stresses that is sigma x or tau x y that is happening in the plane where uh, in the plane in which the force t is applied so that is the meaning of plane stress usually the members that are very thin that means those with a small z direction is a dimension a dimension compared to the in plane x and y di dimensions and 
whose loads act only in the xy plane can be considered to be under plane stress so this is the concept of plane stress so plane stress usually happens when we apply a force in the plane of the body and the body is very thin then the stresses perpendicular to the body will be zero or assumed to be zero this is the concept of plane stress now we will see what is a plane strain a plane strain is defined to be a state of strain in which the strain normal to the xy plane is at and shear strains gamma x is at and gamma y is at assumed to be zero the assumptions of plane strain are realistic for long bodies for example in figure a a dam subjected to horizontal loading is shown and in figure b a pipe subjected to vertical load is shown in both these cases the bodies can be considered as long bodies because it has got a large z dimensions x dimension is this y dimension is this is a dimension that is very large compared to x and y directions this is the z dimension in the case of the pipe and also in both these cases the loads act in x and or y directions in the case of dam we can see the load is acting in the x direction and in the case of pipe load is acting in the y direction then we can say both these bodies are under a state of plane strain because in both these cases normal strain e is at equal to zero e is at means normal strain happening in the z direction or perpendicular to the xy plane we know that strain means change in length by original length then normal strain e is at for the dam means what change in dimension happening in the direction is that which is a very large dimension we know then no change in dimension in the z direction is happening in this case okay so that is an example of plane strain also shear strains here it is written as shear stress but um, it is actually shear strain shear strains gamma x z and gamma y z gamma x z and gamma y z means uh, shear strains in the planes perpendicular to x and xy planes xy uh, xy plane is the plane uh, shown in the picture and x z and y z planes are planes perpendicular to the xy plane then shear stresses in those two planes gamma x z and gamma y z shear strains in those Two planes gamma x z and gamma y z will also be equal to zero so this is the meaning of plane strain so plane strain happens in bodies with the longer z direction compared to x and y directions so this is the concept of plane strain 